Good evening, Fiji, and welcome to For the Record. During the 2014 National Budget Address, the Prime Minister announced the entry of a new commercial bank into the market that is Fiji and owned. Tonight, we are glad to have the Chief Executive Officer of Home Finance Company Limited, Mr. Isikeli Tikodondua, take time out of his busy schedule to be with us this evening. Good evening, sir, and welcome to For the Record. Thank you. Now, you've been with uh, HFC since 2008, have acted in the position of CEO since then, and the following year, in 2009, what became the CEO. Now, what keeps you going? Well, I've been in the uh, banking industry for more than 20 years, and um, I felt that I wanted new challenges, and that's why I ended up with uh, HFC. Okay. Now, HFC is known for providing uh, home finance, uh, last week, it was granted a formal banking license by the governor of the Reserve Bank of Fiji, and this has been something that HFC has, you know, been working towards for some time, and for many years, in fact. Now, how does it feel to be finally granted a commercial banking license? Yeah, you're correct. Uh, HFC started off as a um, home financing company, and uh, throughout the last few years, we have uh, started introducing. Uh, uh, other new products and services that are uh, inclined towards banking. Mm -hmm. And uh, also for the last three years, we have gradually uh, started uh, working towards banking and uh, working with the Reserve Bank of Fiji, mm -hmm. who have been a regulator, so there's nothing new. Uh, as a financial institution, we do report to uh, the Reserve Bank of Fiji. Mm -hmm. So um, we have to meet some uh, guidelines and criteria to uh, be able to... Uh, get a uh, full-fledged uh, banking license, which now we have. Obviously, you received a lot of help from the Reserve Bank of Fiji. And uh, did how long did all this take? Uh, for us to um, actually get a provisional license, it took us about 18 months. And uh, through those provisional license, we have to meet other um, requirement that's set by the Reserve Bank, which we have done. And uh, through that, um, the improvement on ICT system, the development and upgrading of our branches, opening of new branches, uh, setting up um, our treasury functions in the other areas. So uh, now the hard work okay. starts. Now, how um, are you ready to serve all Fijians across the country? We believe we are ready. We have uh, the capacity, the ability. We've got an existing custom base. And actually, our customers are the ones that uh, have um, been um, encouraging us to go into banking. Uh, because at this point in time, we're only uh, providing uh, lending and other services, not uh, the transactional one, which we would want to acquire as well, mm -hmm. so that we are able to uh, operate like a one-stop shop end-to-end. -end. Okay. So does this mean more branches across the country? Does it mean more ATMs, more staff, perhaps? Uh, we have um, recruited uh, the staff that we require to go into banking. We have completed that. Uh, we have upgraded all our branches. Yes, in future, we will be looking at uh, opening other branches in uh, other centers. We are talking to the um, post office to use their agency as a point of uh, sale for us. So. Um, through that, we should be able to reach out uh, to many customers uh, in rural areas and also uh, introducing FPOS, ATM, uh, through interchange with other banks. Okay. Already there are five commercial banks in the country. HFC is going to be the sixth. Now, what is it that you're going to bring that will set you apart from these banks? I think the edge that we have is we're local. We're a local bank. We understand the uh, local culture. And also, um, we believe that um, competition is good. Um, the edge that we feel that we can have is our delivery at turnaround time, and also uh, our passion to serve the people of Fiji. We're here to stay, and uh, basically that's what we want to do. Okay, now you mentioned competition. No doubt it is a tough market and will be. Now, do you think there is room for competition for another bank such as yours? Absolutely. Absolutely. We have proven that by um, the customer base that we have now. We've grown our book. We have uh, the capacity to build on that. And also, for us, this is an opportunity to be able to really serve our customers and also potential customers. So um, okay. it is good. It is good. 
All right. Is your target going to be based on volume via ordinary Fijians, or will there be more concentration on business banking? Like okay. ANZ. Uh, we have already been doing business banking. I think a lot of people out in the market are probably not really aware. Uh, I guess because of uh, our name, our trade name mm. is, uh, sorry, our, uh, we, we are registered as uh, Home Finance Company Limited. Now, our trade name now will be HFC Bank. We will continue to use uh, HFC because uh, we believe HFC has got uh, a very good reputation in the market. We don't have to rebrand ourselves. We believe uh, the strength is in uh, that name. And uh, we will continue uh, to serve with the same uh, standard that we have now. Also, we believe that we can grow. We are growing. And uh, as I mentioned, Ila, it's an exciting time. It is indeed. Now, you've said that th your strong edge is being local, that you understand the local market. Now, that alone is, do you think that alone is enough to pull people towards your bank? Uh, yes, and also with that, uh, we believe that um, a lot of people in Fiji are very patriotic. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see by uh, our um, overseas um, residents that have come back to the country. We have seen a uh, uh, lot of uh, commitment from the people of Fiji going into investment. And I believe uh, uh, the people of Fiji are very you know, learned now. They understand what they want, mm -hmm. and we believe we can provide that. Now, you say that. Now, is there any specific product that you've got that will be attuned to those? Uh, we have a few exciting products coming out. I'm not at liberty at this point in time okay. to uh, share that uh, because uh, of this reason. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yes, we have uh, uh, some new product that will actually uh, create and stir a lot of uh, interest mm -hmm. in the market. We have done a few things that... Uh, have set us aside. Uh, one is uh, the uh, requirement for security, the uh, term of loan that we have extended. We also look at uh, capturing uh, the rural area. Uh, I think they've been neglected a lot of time, those who are unbanked. We have product that is uh, geared towards this, uh, sadly, the one that have been uh, not recognized. Well. That's uh, just about enough time for us for this segment. We'll be right back after this commercial break with more. We're talking about Home Finance Company Limited and with the CEO. Welcome back to For the Record. We are speaking with the CEO of uh, the HFC Bank, a new commercial bank soon, just a, uh, well, uh, gotten their new banking, commercial banking license, Mr. Isikeli Tikododua. Now, we've so spoken about what um, HFC is, uh, well, planning to offer, leaning towards that. Now, you definitely will have uh, new products or a product of range that you need to, uh, well, market to your clients. Now, n what other types of product that you, you will have? that no other bank is offering at the moment, or which actually, which area are you going to be well, specifying your, your approach with? The, probably the first thing that we really need to drive is the awareness uh, for people out there to understand that uh, we already are offering product that the banks are offering. Mm. For example, we have asset financing. We do import-export substitute uh, funding through the Reserve Bank of Fiji. We do investment loan. We do business loan. Uh, apart from the normal uh, customer, consumer products that we have. Mm -hmm. So basically we've been doing that. It is really the awareness out in the market. So what we intend to do now is we'll go through a very extensive, intense uh, marketing campaign okay. through uh, the media, TV, uh, um, radio, and of course uh, the dailies. Okay. So. Uh, that will really drive the message across that uh, we are more than just loan, as we, right. they used to be our slogan. As the name says. Yes. As the name says. So uh, what we want to do now is saying, hang Are on. you going to change the name? HFC is a good name. Uh, okay. It's a trade name that um, has got a good rapport in the, the market. And uh, we don't want uh, to... It, it's very hard to change people's uh, mind. Yes, uh, we believe that uh, we have a brand that we can uh, 
maximize on and uh, utilize properly. But the word bank, I think that is what we need to drive to people that uh, we're a bank now. Whatever the banks are offering, we're already offering most of those. The only thing that we may need to drive to people now is that, please, if you want to open your check account, I uh, want to use um, cards through uh, FPOS, which we will also introduce, ATM, which we'll do gradually. Uh, that also goes for the uh, our future expansion. Uh, we are already located in strategic areas of uh, Fiji. The area that we will be targeting now is uh, rural areas as well, because we are local. Uh, our shareholders are local, Fiji National Provident Fund. So uh, you as a member, you are, we are your bank. Okay. Now, you mentioned earlier that uh, this is the, your, one of your strengths, is a local bank. And you mentioned the overseas drive, people, our Fijians living overseas. Is there any product that you're going to tailor towards our local Fijians who live overseas to invest more in Fiji? Is there any, is that sort yeah. of a drive that you're looking at also? In, in fact, uh, we have a few of our clients now who are doing a development uh, uh, business in Fiji who have come through us. Uh, I think the message that went out there that uh, we are very easy to deal with. We are very approachable. Our turnaround, our decision making, I think it's very important to our clients when they walk in and they get the answer as opposed to come and see us again. Uh, we are very customer centric. We are very mobile. Our people actually go out and visit clients as opposed to clients coming to see us. I think that's the strength that we have. We've got a very strong team very energized and also well uh, I think uh, the edge that we have also is um, all our staff are local mm -hmm. and uh, that's why we really understand the market uh, our people and uh, our um, clients we're talking the same language so it's easy for us to uh, be able to understand uh, yep. what they need and want demand, I guess. You mentioned that all your staff are local. Is there a, a good training, um, uh, well, a human resource training facility happening at HFC uh, to strengthen your human uh, resources? I believe we've got one of the very strong um, training program. Uh, we've got very intensive uh, training um, uh, system. Uh, you'd probably see this by uh, the type of um, stuff that we have. Uh, we have challenges also in retaining our staff mm -hmm. because of the training that we are providing for them. Mm -hmm. So in a way, uh, that uh, indicate the level of uh, training that we have. Are you going to try and market yourself also to the new graduates? You know, there's, there's a lot of graduates come out of the, the institutions, tertiary institutions coming in Fiji. Now, uh, is this also what you're, you're gonna have to compete with the other banks? Uh, actually, we have a graduate trainee program where we recruit uh, most of our staff from uh, the local university. Mm -hmm. And it's very robust. And uh, we encourage our staff to go for further education. Uh, most of our uh, senior managers are going through the MBA program. I'm involved in the MBA program as well. I'm the chairman of the advisory committee. Mm -hmm. So uh, in a way, you know, it's a reflection of how we uh, plays a lot of importance in uh, developing and um, ensuring that uh, our people, you know, have got um, a high standard of uh, education as well. Okay. But we have to be mindful that we deliver. Yes. You know, this, that uh, learning towards how we service our clients. Yeah. I think it's very important. Now, how else will you get this message across to the public that you're just more than just a home finance? Through a um, very intensive uh, advertising program. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, up to now a lot of uh, clients understand what we stand for. I believe also that um, there is a lot of opportunity here. And uh, the confidence, I think, that uh, also speaks volume that a lot of people are saying this country is ready to uh, progress further than where we were. 
And we've seen that. Uh, our book size have grown. Um, yes, you always have people who may have doubt about what we do over here. I think that's starting to change. Mm -hmm. People now have realized that uh, you know, locals are as good as our overseas counterpart. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned earlier, we're here to stay. Now, for the record, just so that we can clear this off the table, there isn't going to be a name change. There's no going to be a name change. It will be HFC Bank. We've done our branding. It has been um, uh, accepted and approved. So, um, yes, HFC Bank. Is here to HFC stay. HFC Bank, it's here to stay. All right. Well, we'll be back right after this short uh, break with more on uh, the HFC, the bank that has uh, just uh, received its new commercial banking license. We're here with the Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Isikeli Tikundondua. More for the record right after this short break. You're back on For the Record with us this evening is the CEO of uh, HFC. Now, let's talk. The vast array of products of, of, uh, for the ordinary Fijians, for your bank, yeah? you, what you're going to offer, you've already stated that you are going to compete in this um, uh, well, already sixth bank, so you are the sixth bank. Now, your core original business of financing home loans will obviously still be very important to you. Now. Interest rates are at an all-time low. Commercial banks that have decades had a head start over you. They will be competing in this market. They are ready for you to come into it. And uh, even housing authority is now offering uh, low home interest rates. Now, how will you, HFC, compete in this market? Now, will it be just lower interest rates or other things like more flexible repayments or payments? Uh, we are already competing against the... Uh the existing banks, so it's nothing new to us. Mm -hmm. We've been doing that all along. I think uh, a lot of people may have not realized that. We've been competing against the bank all these years. Yes, interest rate is uh, a very crucial factor in any one's decision making. We have competed uh, with the banks on that. We have lowered our interest rate. Now going into banking will allow us to have more free funds that will uh, be passed on to our clients. So it will really allow us to uh, be able to uh, give them that um, low rate, uh, which we are already giving. So okay. don't get me wrong, we're already doing that. And also um, fees, we have uh, done our research, we've compared fees, and our fees is definitely lower than what the banks are offering now. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing is because we are regulated by the Reserve Bank of Fiji, we have to work within those boundaries just like the bank. So this nothing wrong with that. We have to be very transparent. We have to publish all our fees and our charges, like the banks. Uh, and we are already doing that, so that's nothing new. And also we have to have brochures and all these um, uh, form of uh, pamphlets so that uh, customers have access to uh, fees and charges that they will be incurring or paying. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're already doing that. Mm -hmm. It's nothing new. Okay. Now, will uh, home finance still be an important core of your business? 50% of our book is still basically um, home financing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really um, part of our um, existing um, range of uh, product and services. Uh, we have enhanced it, um, like the bank, so uh, it's very competitive. Uh, we have not seen um, uh, any problem with that. In fact, um, that's one of our growth okay. market areas as well. Mm -hmm. Now, even the, Fiji, even the government is encouraging um, Fijians to buy their homes. Yeah? They've started to assist first-time home buyers. And uh, how much responsibility does HFC think it should or should have as a fully owned local bank company to ensure that this government policy is quickly realized? And are you looking probably at uh, maybe even at the expense of lower profit margins? In fact, uh, we have already set up a product specifically for first homeowner, uh, and uh, that's in line with uh, the government initiative to uh, um, ensure that um, every family should have proper housing. Mm -hmm. And there is a special package for that that we have. Uh, we will be launching that uh, as we go into banking. So uh, like you, if you want to come across, 
I think uh, what we're offering is uh, probably the best uh, housing uh, package that uh, will be available in the market. Okay. Now, obviously, people will be interested in the interest rate offered on deposits as well. Now, can you share any information on this before the launch? Will it be more attractive than other banks? Definitely. Uh, in fact, uh, even our um, term deposit, uh, I don't know whether a lot of people there know, we do. We have been offering term deposit uh, all along. Our rates are better than the banks. Um, it's there in the market. You can compare it. Mm. Uh, it's very transparent. And uh, we encourage people who want to save to come across and save with us. Uh, we have a lot of um, product now that is uh, targeted to specific uh, market segment mm. for young graduates, professionals. We have packages for them as well. Uh, for moms and dads, for pensioners. So um, it's exciting. See, I didn't know about this. Obviously, the marketing will all be part and parcel all and encompass. Absolutely. We've got a very intensive market uh, program that we have uh, come up with, and uh, you'll see um, okay. right. it coming soon. Well, almost there. Yeah, almost uh, you can convince me. But all right, what was a few more questions <laughs> still to go for a long time before the current okay. government uh, had uh, come in. And even um, there's always been debate of... Uh, you know, of high bank fees and hidden bank charges. Uh, the burden of these fees and charges have been somewhat reduced for ordinary Fijians through increased uh, competition. Now, but also um, uh, due to the government uh, policies, especially this government. Now, for the record, will HFC clearly state all its fees and charges in, uh, in a clear manner for the public of Fiji so that they can make informed decisions before they moved from their present bank? We're already doing that. Yeah. Um, it is part of the requirement by the Reserve Bank of Fiji also that um, all banks and financial institutions have to disclose all the charges and fee transparently. And uh, I think in Fiji we are very fortunate that we have the Consumer Council and the Commerce Commission who are more like uh, police mm -hmm. that ensure that uh, we, you know, operate very transparent. Very transparent. Yeah. All right. Now, this is in fact not Fiji's first locally owned bank. Now, what sort of risk management and security measures does HFC have in place that will prevent it from becoming like our former National Bank of Fiji? What certain individuals, uh, where certain individuals had uh, used NBF as their private piggy banks? National Bank of Fiji. I would say it's a sad story. It was a disaster that was bound to happen. They have, uh, I think at the point in time, no risk management, uh, no corporate governance. It was poorly um, controlled. Uh, it was allowed to uh, fall because there was no real strong supervision. Uh, that has changed. The Reserve Bank of Fiji now is very, very strict. Uh, the regulation, policy, and guidelines are there to ensure that this type of thing does not happen. We are not National Bank of Fiji. I want to stress that. Uh, we have uh, been uh, providing a very good return to our stakeholders and shareholders. In fact, uh, the last two years we have set uh, record uh, uh, profit. We pay tax. We do pay tax. We do pay tax. Yes. And uh, we are a gold member of uh, FERCA because of our advanced uh, payment of tax. So that's quite a privilege. It shows that uh, we play a role uh, in ensuring that uh, we pay our dues. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so what, this is a question that a lot have asked. What start date are you looking at? Eh? We're looking at early next year. Early There's a few um, uh, minor issues that we need to um, Address. In fact, uh, we're ready. You're ready. We're ready. Very confident. Absolutely. Are you sure that you surely cannot tell us a little bit more about your interest rates? Um, not yet. Uh, I know that uh, there's a lot of interest, but we will leave that um, uh, as part of our um, promotion come early next year. Okay. Now, lastly, why should I or any other Fijian switch over to HFC Commercial Bank from our present banks? You've got about a minute to tell me. <laughs> okay. We will. Um, 
we have a lot of exciting things that we'll provide. Uh, and I'm not at liberty at this point in time to uh, share that because for obvious reason, as I mentioned earlier, but I assure you, you will come across. Yes. Yeah. I've got a lot of things to offer. You've got a lot of things to offer. Yeah. For the graduates? For everyone. We've got um, targeted market segment mm -hmm. and uh, we will ensure that what we do is what our customers want. want. Thank you very much for being with us this evening, Mr. Skeleton Dondo. Good luck to HFC and hopefully you will see me as a new customer. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for this evening. Thank you very much for joining us on For The Record. For comments and questions, please email us on ForTheRecord at fbc.com.fj. Join me again next week for more discussion on pertinent issues to all Fijians. Good night, Fiji.